Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to continue my series of solid design principles using Go. So in the last video I covered the S part of solid which is the single responsibility principle. Today I'm going to cover the O part of it which is the open close principle which states that uh, software entities should be open for extension but closed for modification. So not all software entities have to follow this but the more entities can follow the better it is for good maintenance of a software so the entities here can mean functions in general or uh, classes or structs so i'm going to show you an example of uh, how this principle is uh, applicable in real world so in this example we have a circle struct and we have a square struct so circle has a radius square has a length and what we have here is a function called sum area which is implemented by this calculator struct and this sum area takes bunch of shapes which are currently of the type interface and what it go uh, what it does is that it goes through all of them and then for each of them it checks its type and based on the type it calculates the area and it keeps on uh, adding it up and eventually returns it so that's all it does so what is the issue with this current setting so if i later come up with a new shape uh, let's say a triangle or a quadrilateral then i'll have to add an extra case here so i'll have to modify this sum area function and this breaks the open close principle which states that the software entities should be open for extension but closed for modification so if I start modifying that, then it is actually breaking that principle. So how can I extend it without actually modifying it? So here, one of the ways I can do that is basically abstracting out this calculation of area functionality. What I mean by that is that, so both of these structs, so circle and square, they have the same property, which is called area. So we need area for all of them. So even if I add a triangle or a quadrilateral later on, so I will still need an area for that. So why not combine all of these into an interface which has this area functionality. So I can do that uh, in the following way. So the first step is to define a shape interface which has this area function or area functionality. And all of our corresponding structs can simply implement this area which is happening here so circle implements its area uh, which is calling pi r square and square also implementing its area and then in the sum area function where we want to apply the open close principle we take instead of interfaces we take shapes and then for each shape we just call area and that's it we just sum the area whatever this corresponding area function returns and we just return that so even if i add a triangle or a quadrilateral shape uh, in future this code this particular bunch of code will still remain intact we don't have to change that we just have to define a new struct and implements its corresponding area function and then this entity will still uh, obey the open close principle so this principle is useful uh, in cases where let's say you have a project where there are a lot of people working and uh, one person has implemented some entity or some functionality like that and a new person comes and he wants to uh, extend that but the, that extension has to be done in such a way that the chances of errors is minimized you don't have to write unnecessary piece of codes and also you don't have to modify too many functions and all these are achieved by this particular design of uh, open close principle so a new person does not have to touch this sum area if it is designed properly he just has to come up with a new struct and implement this area function and thereby implementing the shape interface and that's it so uh, he doesn't have to modify the code which is already existing he just need to extend it by adding his own types and functions so this ensures uh, safe maintenance of the code base and safe extension of the code base.